The new project that I'm working on here at the American Academy in Berlin uh, takes the same fascination with the way that music functions as a philosophical tool, as a cosmological tool, and really as a tool for human understanding, but turns it to a different literature, even a different language. And here I'm thinking now about the role that music plays within Persian literature, Persian philosophy, and the Persian kind of musical imaginary. I say imaginary because I'm, I'm dealing with um, uh, medieval Persian cultures and tradition where there is no surviving musical notation. It was largely an aural culture, and what we do have are, are not so much performances recorded in notation, but only some theoretical examples. So uh, the scales, uh, the modes, we, we would call them. Uh, but we don't have any examples of what the music actually sounded like. So the goal here is not to reconstruct what Persian music would have sounded like in the 10th, 11th, or 12th centuries, but to think about music through the way it is recorded in literature and in philosophy as an experience. And it is, I argue, absolutely central to Persian poetics and to some elements of, of Persian uh, religious philosophy. And, and so I uh, hope to find ways into using this central idea of listening as a means to gain some kind of access to the role that, that, that music plays within the um, kind of poetic imaginary of Persian uh, poetic practice. Mm -hmm.